All right, a run on the Kamikaze R. Been having a fair to middling series of runs lately, so when that happens, turn to the Kamikaze series. And this one almost goes south, as I recall. run up the 2-3 uh, line and usually I cut to the left of this island that one and there we go we already have somebody calling out <clears throat> in general chat how our team is screwed I can't ever take that mode of thinking. Cutting in. Minikaze ahead. Used to be one of my favorite boats. I try and offer some encouragement. Minikaze really should mirror the Kamikaze series, but... or vice versa. Tell them to shoot straight and don't make a mess of it. I'm gonna dump some torps on that gap over there. Torps are out. I think for a second about laying the third one. Hold off. Cruiser coming in. Cleveland. Oh, and Nicholas. I cut the throttle here. Fire the guns. Actually get two hits on them. Rounds out. Decide it's time to go for... Oh, I pop my smoke. He's popping his smoke. Rounds out. Called out that I pop smoke for the cruiser. Decide to push up. Hopefully I'll force that destroyer off. There he goes. He's running. He's got a Mitsuki coming in, which is interesting because he's the gunboat, not the Mitsuki. Lining up torpedoes on the Mitsuki. Looks like our other destroyer, the Gade, has got torpedoes out. Maybe. Torpin the gap. Just to hold him off. And then I hear torpedo klaxon because our Minikaze has dumped torps and I need to turn in really hard. Nicholas just took a bunch of hits. Coming back up on the throttle. Took out their Indianapolis. There's a Cleveland over there who I need to be wary of. Good torp soup over there, and the Nicholas is down. Gonna press up. Iron Duke, two Iron Dukes, laying torps on the Cleveland, because it looks like he's gonna back up, so I'm trying to press him a little bit while staying away from his fighter plane. Our Shores is pushing up, but I think he meets a messy end. DHO, the one who's complaining about matchmaking, is now saying our base is unprotected. He actually is correct on this one. Shores has taken some really bad hits, and he stopped, and he's taking AP, and he's down. So I'm all the way over here on the 1 2 line, and our flag starts to get lit. <clears throat> A 
hitting the engine boost, dumping some torps on the Iron Duke, hoping he'll drive into him. And then turning around. Getting torpedoes set up just in case anybody else is driving towards me. Our Minikaze and I have dumped torps on the Iron Duke. Looks like the Minikaze unfortunately is closed within a detection range. But at this point, they've got three battleships and a cruiser over in this vicinity. So that's a pretty good amount of their firepower tied up in this corner, so we're calling for a cruiser or somebody to get in the base, and I'm heading back along with DHO, or, well that's his clan, I'll say DB4100, or as Jingles would say, Dave. Thrown some torps out on the Cleveland. One more set in the gap on the Iron Duke, hoping he'll drive into him. Now I could go left or right. Left is a little more dangerous, but quicker. Right slower, going left. Unfortunately, DB4100, or Dive, doesn't have the best people skills. I just say shoot and reset. They've got two destroyers on cap. If we can hit them and reset the cap, that would be great. Dumping torps in that gap just in case everybody tries to come through. I've got no clear shots, but area of denial. Engine boost is down, but I'm going to go all the way and try and get back to our cap. There, Matsuki just took a couple hits. Atkatsuki is pulling off our base, which is good. They've got three DDs, two on our cap, one in the vicinity. Our Atkatsuki is hurt pretty bad. Dumping torps on the Iron Duke, trying to stay just enough out of range to be able to launch and not be seen, and here we go. clacks and sounds that I might hit the island. Two torpedoes looking good. Two torpedoes in. Four torpedoes out. And one Two and the other two just killed the survivors, and we take no prisoners. Iron Duke down. I guess, I don't know if uh, Snafu died or whatever, but we're busy at the base. Looks like we've cleared all but one destroyer. He must be running off of the base. Base. I wouldn't go so far as that we almost lost, but it was pretty tight. So there's the other destroyer, Aikatsuki. We got a man who's pressing in but taking pretty heavy hits. Dumping torps on gaps over here to slow anybody who thinks about trying to come in on our cap, lining up guns. Round off. And he's down. I actually got a hit on that guy, I think. Cleveland coming in. 
and there's a Cleveland and a, at least one battleship over here. So they've got two cruisers and three battleships. We've got two destroyers and three battleships. I'll take that because we can see and they count. Texas on 37,000 or 3,700 and a half hit points. There's the Cleveland. I've slowed. I tell the Gade back over there to use my smoke. I'm going to pop it and he can gun from it. He acknowledges. So with a 5.4 kilometer detection range, I'm going to press up here and spot for the team. We've got two of their five ships spotted. We've got two battleships back on our cap, one pressing around, up on the uh, around nine, the B9. So if there's any back here, we'll spot the other ones. Anything's trying to go in on our cap, since the battleships are cruisers, we should be able to spot it from a fair distance, and even if they get in on the cap, reset the cap by shooting. I hate that island, but here we go. Lining up, keeping an eye, going to come around. The Iron Duke is spotting for us to a certain degree. I'm going to get past this island so I can keep spotting for the team. And there is the Belfast telling the Gade that there's 40 seconds left on my smoke lining up on the Belfast. Torps out. And the Myco guns here. Oh, Belfast down. So I'm going to scrape the hull here and do away, do away with some of the uh, anti-barnacle paint, but And yeah, that's what happens. Cleveland going up against our Iron Duke. I'm trying to force myself past this little reef. Iron Duke looks like he's burning. Ours. Yeah, he must be. He's down to 10,000 health. In a gun duel with the Cleveland. Cleveland is down. Gonna press up. I tell one of the guys back by our cap to stay on it. Had engine boost to me and the Gade, who thought we were so screwed via matchmaking, are now pressing the enemy cap. The enemy will pop up over there trying to press our cap. There's one, there's the other. I call it out on the G3 line. But at this point, I'm not really worried about it. If we can get two ships in on their cap before they can, we've got this. Points are even. So if we get in before they do, we still win this. Texas is running and almost dead. Sorry for the camera glitch. He's almost in range. There we go. Two BBs pressing our cap, but not there yet. I'm 
there. Texas has got 4,300 points left. At this point, we've got two destroyers on their cap. And they're not on ours yet. We've got this. If our battleship back there at H7 just resets them, we definitely have it, but we've got it. We're up on points anyway. Texas is turning back in. It's a long shot if these torps will make it. If not, he might hear them and it might turn them off. Pop smoke. Go guns. Now it's between me and the gate who gets the kill. Alright. He earned it. And that's a win.